Hey guys, it's Angela Marie again, back with another long way to video. Uh, I know you guys love to see me make coffee filter flowers, but I'm going to take that up a notch and do something practical. I needed a replacement lampshade for my daughter. I don't know what I did with the lampshade, if I broke it, if I recycled it in a crafting craze. But here's another way that you can handle that without spending a lot of money. It's just a few simple items that you can find at Dollar Tree and Walmart, and I needed it to suit this wall mural that I made for her room that I'm updating. You guys will get a chance to see that. And I used grays, whites, browns, bronzes, and black. And this is what I needed. Okay, what you're going to need to start with is some blue wall. You need E6000. You need glossy and matte Mod Podge, some paint brushes, a regular pair of scissors, a sharp sewing pair of scissors, maybe some bling, some coffee filters, uh, and also you can use some glass glitter if you want it and pick any color of growth paint that goes your project. I'm starting with a silver and then a light gray and I'm going to mix that together with a third of a cup of water for our base color of the main petals that are going to be in our lamp. So we're going to mix that thoroughly. I dipped 50 filters in here, but in hindsight I would have dipped more. I don't want to have leftover paint, let's have a jar, something airtight that I can uh, work with to store it. But it's better to have more filters than you need done than not enough. So I advise to go ahead and mix as many as you can. And now I'm mixing the darker colors and I'm going to dip about, I don't know, I think I need 25, but I'm gonna dip a few more. Actually, I'm gonna use up all of this. What I use on camera, what I do on camera, I'm still gonna use the rest of that and dip more. I wanna double these and so I wanna make sure that I have enough to go all the way around the bottom layer of the lip shade. Again, I dipped, had a, I had actually enough paint to dip more than I expected to, so I just did them all. It turned out to be, again, about 25. I started out with 12, then I went to 20, and then I went to 25. I used every single drop. And I make sure that you are checking the insides and the middles of all of them so that you can make sure they're covered. Then I glued two of the brown uh, filters together with some, I think you use school glue or glow, it doesn't really matter, but school glue would do for this part. And I just glued each one of those together. I think I didn't leave any single filters with that color because I needed the, the firmness, the stiffness. I need more support at the bottom to carry the weight of the higher leaves. Now after those filters dried, I glued them together and then now uh, I am applying a mixture of 50% glossy Mod Podge and 50% matte Mod Podge. I'm just doing this to give it a little stiffness. Now I took a Dollar Tree container that had a lid and I cut a hole in the, end, in the bottom to match the top of my lamp to be able to sit on my lamp and then I cut the rim also. And then I took two of the lighter flowers, I folded them in half, and then I cut out two leaves from each filter. And you can do that as thick as you can manage it, you can do as many as you can at the same time. Then I sprayed this uh, silver on the outside, I don't want to make a fire, so on the outside I sprayed silver, that's optional. Then I applied some glue, and I started applying the leaves from the bottom of or what would look like the top and you turn it right side up all the way up to the base of the lamp and I just glued them overlapping them about an inch and I did that all the way around until I got to the top layer I placed each layer with the leaves in between the two leaves from the previous layer. And now I'm going to double the last layer or the bottom. And I, in retrospect, I wish I would have done that the whole way because it gives it more support 
and more firmness and it's easier to clean when it's a little bit more rough or thicker. take one of our double copy filters and fold it in half twice and we're going to cut a hole in the center or at the point to leave the hole big enough to overlap our opening of the base of the lamp that we've already cut. The hole was cut just enough to overlap the base of the lamp that you're going to place it on. I'm going to take um, one more double copy filter, fold it in half twice and we're going to cut off the point to make four leaves. Now we're going to take those leaves that we cut out and we're going to put some glue on them and overlap them over the base that we made and we're going to fold those over the edge of the rim by about a quarter of an inch on the, on the bottom and then we're going to overlap those by a third and go all the way around the bowl with those. Now I'm going to make a contour and color for the bottom of the gray leaves or the base of the lamp where the gray leaves are. I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, gray, brown, black, and gold. And we're going to mix that up. We're probably going to need about two teaspoons total maybe. Depends on how big your piece is. But I used about uh, maybe two teaspoons, probably a little bit less or a little bit more, give or take. And I'm going to mix that thoroughly and I'm going to paint that onto the base of the gray leaves which is going to be the top it's easier to paint it sitting it on something to prop it up it's easier to paint this part upside down so you're going to want to stand it on something if it, the color's not quite right or deep enough add a little bit of whatever you need and stir it in very thoroughly you want to have a good even cover even though it's just a contour you're not going to apply it all over but you do want to make sure you have enough depth and whatever you need to cover the amount of space you need to cover. Just apply the contour cover to the raised areas to, or and the edge of the leaves so that you can give it a little bit of stand outishness so that it can actually be visible as leaves. Also, I'm going to paint a little bit into the corners or the, the depths. In between the brown leaves, I want to make it look like it's transitioning out from underneath the leaf. Like underneath the, the brown leaves is a darker color. So I'm just going to go around the edges and take care of all that with this one color. make a highlighting color and we're going to use a little bit of white, a little bit of silver, and a little bit of gray. That's going to be for the top of our lamp. We're going to want to draw the light or and the eye upwards towards the light to make it look like it may even appear brighter coming out of the top. So we're going to take some of that paint after it's thoroughly mixed and we're going to just brush it on the edges of the top leaves. Now 
now we're going to create a darker color or a bronzy color for the base of the leaves, the brown leaves. So we're going to keep our base turned upside down at this point and we're going to go over the raised areas with the gold. I mixed a bronze and a gold, maybe a little brown, depending on what shade you need. Mix the metallic color that you want. But I want this to look like metal. This is the beginning stages of it. I'm going to use the metallic paint to create the metal color and then I'm going to go back in with a glossy Mod Podge and a little bit of glitter at the base around the rim of the bowl and I'm going to make it look like metal. So let's see what's happening with that. Okay, so around the outer edge or the rim of the bowl I applied a generous amount of glossy Mod Podge but I want it to be a thicker wetter layer as you go along when you apply you're going to take the glossy Mod Podge and apply it to all the areas where the brown is on the base and on the leaves but I put the thicker layer because the glass glitter for this weight is only going to stick to the part where the, the Mod Podge was the thickest then I let that dry and I flipped it over and decided to make the edge of the light gray leaves a little metallic. It's just so it can blend a little bit better to be extra. Look at Okay, so after it dries, I'm going to shape it inward towards the light. I like the way that looks. And again, using an LED light bulb, I do not use regular light bulbs when I use paper on a lampshade. And then you can also add some bling at the bottom of the actual lamp uh, shade, which is would be the top of your lamp, using some E6000, but that's totally optional. Or you can add other things. Let me know below if you like this kind of video, or if you'd like to see more of the same. And like, subscribe, comment, please let a friend know, and make sure you turn on your notification bells. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.